What's up, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. And welcome back again to your weekly vlog with your host with the mother truck and most, me. <laughs> now, in this particular vlog, I don't really have a lot I want to talk about except for the fact that I forgot to start that. Okay, now, uh, I, in this particular vlog, I have something I want to get off my freak fracking chest, and that is the fact that I hate Facebook with a freaking passion. I really want to get rid of my Facebook account because it's nothing but trouble. I get sick and tired every time I look on it. I see nothing but bitching and moaning from people I love, and it really fucking annoys me. Uh, I'm only going to be going over one person that I know in particular because I get so sick and tired of every time I look online, I see shit like this. Dear God, help me get through, or like this. I don't feel like myself anymore. Or how about this fucking one? I forgot what this even feels like. If y'all need me, find me tomorrow. I don't want to talk to anyone tonight. I don't feel like myself anymore. Dear God, help me get through. I'm already bored of today, just driving. I miss you, son. Someday you'll have the choice to be around your father more, and no one will be able to stop you. Until then, smile your beautiful smile and live your beautiful life. I love you with all my heart. That one makes fucking sense, but at the same time, it still freaking annoys me. Or how about this son of a bitch right here? Fellas, don't expect a real lady to hold you down if you can't be a real man and lift her up. Now, I have a problem with this one right here because he's a fucking goddamn hypocrite. Shit like this pisses me off, and it's mainly because here's another one. Today is just not a good day. Those are just some of the top fucking deals off of somebody I really care about deal from uh, most of these are from uh, May, sometime in May. Yeah, started May the, from May 29th to May 31st. In just three days' time, those stupid, depressing, ridiculous, bullshit fucking posts. Anybody knows this guy, you know him for who he already is. And I know, I've known him for over 20 years. Dude, if you know, if you obviously know if you're actually ever watching these videos, and you know I'm bitching about you, just don't comment, because I'm not putting your name in here. So no one's going to fucking know unless you just fucking out yourself. So, this is the reason I hate Facebook. Instead of positive bullshit, instead of positive stuff to where people who can uplift people's spirits and uplift people's days, no. He'd rather post stupid bullshit like that. I can just be, I'll be sitting on the toilet or something like that, just minding my own business. I'll be like, oh, let me check Facebook. Let me screw through here. Oh my fucking God. I find all this shit in a goddamn row. And it's like, really? Are you fucking serious? The one about your son, I get that one. Your baby mom was a fucking stupid fucking tramp and she needs to grow the fuck up, but you know what? You need to grow up too, okay? You do. Stop expecting everything just to hand you something just because you were gone for so fucking long and you missed out on a lot in life. You know what? I'm getting tired of hearing this bullshit. I can't say it to your fucking face, because when I do, you ignore it or you play it off like I'm fucking kidding. I'm not kidding. I'm getting so sick and tired of seeing these stupid posts, dude. Like, fucking seriously. It annoys the hell out of me. It makes me so mad that this social engine just breeds nothing but fucking negativity. And you see all these positive comments of people saying, why, what's wrong, you know, if it's going to be okay, you know, this, that, and the other. All this stupid bullshit. And if he knows it's all going to be okay, he's doing this all to get a fucking rise out of everybody. And it pisses me off. The reason I know this is because, I've again, I've known him for over 20 fucking years. And he's such a goddamn hypocrite. It's fucking ridiculous. I'm getting so sick and tired of this. I want to fucking put it into it. And I, I feel pro fucking very positively comment very positive that he'll never watch this fucking video so i'm gonna fucking i'm not gonna out him i'm not gonna say it you'll see it blurred on his name and stuff like that unless you guys know who he is keep your damn mouth shut don't fucking out who he is because that pissed me off even more you guys will be fucking banned because <sighs> i'm just pissed off and that's one reason why this rant is ha happening right now i get so sick and tired of constantly seeing that on my facebook feed it's like I said, every now and then, yeah, I'll post something negative, or I'll post something like, why the fuck is the goddamn point, or I'll post something ridiculous like that every now and then, because I'll feel a little depressed, or I'll feel a little irritated, and most people know me, and they know, you know, he's just, he's just upset, or he's just irritated, that's completely different, he posts this shit every day, and then he'll come over here and act like nothing's the matter, he'll come over here and act like, oh yeah, my life's great, or whatever, and he's like, you're the biggest fucking hypocrite in the goddamn world. You'll post it, oh God, help, please help me. Oh God, I'm such a God-fearing man. He's fucking not. 
Sorry to say, but he's not. He's not as big of an into religion as he says he is. He says he's into religion because that's what he expects people to want him to do. So that's what he's going to fucking say. And that shit pisses me off. If The world is not the same as it was way the fuck back in the day. You can be a little bit more open-minded when it comes to religion. It, not everybody has to be the same religion. Not everybody has to be the same of any fucking thing. We're all fucking different people. We're all fucking different individuals. We all laugh. We all cry. We all fucking believe. Don't matter if you're gay, straight, black, white, green, gray, purple. Fucking doesn't matter. Lusa. <sighs> anyway. It's posts like that that really piss me off. I mean, I see a lot of it out from a chick that I know. And... It annoys me too, but her, she has legitimate reason to be posting shit like that, and I know a lot of that reason. Again, I'm not going to go into it in this video, because I've been sworn to secrecy, and I'm never going to talk about it to anybody but her. But at the same time, every time I see negative posts like that, I roll my eyes and say, are you fucking kidding me? Like, are you all just so, so desperate for attention that you're going to post negative stuff just to get people to fucking comment? And I know this because the only time I, anyone ever comments anything I say is if it's anything negative. And half the time, like one time, <laughs> my friend Nikki posted something and it's like, you know, she's talking about how, you know, I should just get out there and start talking to other YouTubers. And, you know, and I'm like, it actually has nothing to do with YouTube. I get sick and tired of seeing some of these stupid posts that I just showed that I can't help but to fucking do some sort of vlog reaction type thing about it because it pisses me off to no avail it is so ridiculous it has been so long since I, I can say it's from may 29th to may 31st i have not been on facebook since because i don't want to see any negative bullshit i post my videos to youtube every single day i post my my I, at the same time on top of all this here's another thing about, about this guy he'll come over here expect me and my wife and everyone to go in there and bullshit with him and hang out with him because he's bored because he don't want to go home because he can't handle being alone. I understand, dude. I mean, I get it. I could live alone. If something happened between me and my wife, I could easily live alone because I've done it before. I can live alone. I'm self-reliant. I'm not dependent on other people. I hell, you guys know this by now. I'm always in this fucking room because I'm always doing videos. I'm always uploading. I'm. I might. I'll be having a job here by the end in the like the beginning of June because I've only got 22 subscribers I'm not making any money and we need to get stuff paid off in order to get me off of this stupid crap and bullshit that I'm on I need to start getting money in so I can start getting it caught up so I can talk to my lawyer and get me off this crap early and then I could post this stuff even easier and even better and I don't have to worry about it <sighs> but again the only reason I don't get on social media very often is because I get so sick and tired of seeing negative bullshit. And it's just because everyone in the world is negative. They all say, oh, life sucks. Oh, I got a post that I'm so depressed. Or, oh, I got a post that, oh, I'm so sad because my wife left me. Or because my baby mama doesn't like me. Or, oh, I want to get laid because I'm so horny. Or, yeah. Bro, the fuck up, people. Come the fuck on, social media is get out there to make meet new people, meet new friends, or share videos like this so you can make a community, you can base stuff off of something positive. Stop focusing on negative bullshit. Here is the here is the secret. A Blitz version one is gonna give you guys the secret to life. If you keep doing negative bullshit, it breeds more negativity bullshit. So here is what you want to fucking do. You want to do positivity. You want to do positive mental attitude. <coughs> Sorry. But still, not everyone's surprised now that I watch a lot of Jacksepticeye and Markiplier videos. And Jack has been saying that this is the year for positive mental attitude, a positive attitude, a positive year. I want to help make that. I want to. I've been trying to tell more and more people about positive mental attitude, and I don't know why I keep slipping into a weird Indian accent. I apologize to any Indian viewers. I don't mean to do this. I just... When I start ranting, I start going off into weird-ass fucking voices, and I don't mean to do that. It's just how I cope with shit. Uh, let's see. What else is there? Uh, again, a lot of this is just me yelling at the microphone because I'm so freaking irritated. <laughs> uh, I'm not exactly irritated because my view count's low or my subscriber count is low. I'm just irritated because I want to get more and more onto social media to keep, keep up with you guys and keep up with trends and keep up with stuff <laughs> for the channel's sake and for myself's sake. Because I never go nowhere. I am a closet case shut-in. I stay at home all day. I watch, the I watch my son all fucking day. 
you know, I stay with him all day. That's why my videos are uploading later is because I start uploading my video when he goes down to take his nap instead of when as soon as I get up because he's been getting up earlier than me. So as soon as I get up, he's up running around like a little turd. So I have to get up and go tend to him. So I don't have time to upload because all my stuff's in the bedroom. As you guys can see from my wall, this is my bedroom. This is me and my wife's bedroom. This is where we sleep. This is where we do our activities. You know, stuff like that. But, um, okay, where was I? Oh, yeah, about the social media crap. Um, I see a lot of stuff pop up on social media, and this is another thing that kills me. All you guys that say you're helping me, all you guys that say, hey, yeah, I shared your video. Or, hey, yeah, I saw your stuff. I know half of you people are fucking lying because this thing tells me. It tells me every fucking time someone shares a post, they reblog it, they retweet it, they share it, they favorite it, everything. This thing tells you. So all you guys who keep lying straight to my fucking face, just stop it. Just stop. If you don't believe in me, I fucking get it. None of you guys believe in me. Nobody ever fucking believes in me. I fucked myself when it comes to YouTube. I know this because in high school I was a fucking ghost and that was a bad mistake on my part. But I did that for a reason. I hate drama. I hate issues. I hate confrontation. I hate it all. I'm an antisocial shut-in who does not like human beings in general. And yet I want to be a YouTuber because it's something that I feel more passionate about. It's something I know I'll want to do. It's something I strive to do every single day. I pour my heart and soul into editing all my videos, and oh my god, it pisses me off when my editing software doesn't want to work because then it delays my videos, or I have to I get behind in editing because I was two, three videos ahead until Wolf Tales episode three. I had to re-export that four or five times because of the fucking weird dub shit that happened. And it's still fucking dubbed, but I ran out of time. I had to get it uploaded today when I'm recording this. And this is coming out tomorrow, so you guys know. <laughs> you guys know when this comes up, you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. Because today is Wednesday. Today is the day Wolf Tales Episode 3 came up. I edited that two days ago. That's how long it takes my computer to export something. And it's only 42 minutes long. So think how long that took me when I was doing God of War. Those were hour to two hour, two and a half hours a piece. It took freaking forever. That's why a lot of my videos get late sometimes. And at first, this computer, this editing software I had, I could do two or three. I could do two or three videos at once. I could have two or three deals exporting at once. It was freaking awesome. Can't do that no more. As soon as I do that, it fucks. It like speeds past the last two to get to the last, the last one. So. The thumbnail, the, the video is corrupted and doesn't work. I have to redo it. <laughs> so I can only do one video at a time now. In between that and the social media bullshit <laughs> and all the fucking weird issues I have, I'm a little behind. I'm ahead, but I'm behind. I've got a shit ton of recordings I need edited, editing, including this video. And here after I'm done with this, I got to finish up a Skyrim episode that I didn't get a chance to finish yesterday because the damn computer almost fucking crashed on me. <laughs> And I ran out of time, had to go rock cold to sleep at 8 o'clock. I've pretty much got till my wife gets home after she gets off of work. She gets off of work at 4 o'clock. Sometimes she has to go tend to her mother because her mother is needy and doesn't have a car. And all kinds of other issues that I'm not going to go into because it's my wife's mother. So then I have my own mother to deal with. She's got her own issues. She wants me to get a job so damn bad she can taste it. And it's not really because of paying stuff online on paying stuff on time. It's just because she, she feels like she's useless. Because I'm home all day with the baby, so what's for her point? So all she does is hide in her room all day. She doesn't have to do that. I can switch the TV. I don't have to watch YouTube. I don't have to watch Netflix. I don't have to watch what I'm watching. I can put it on something I'm gonna watch. I don't fucking care. It does not bother me. Originally I put this damn office in here so I can make I can record all day and record and edit all day and have this like an actual full-time job. That never happened. Never, that never happened. Never fucking happened. The only time I ever get the chance to record or do anything is as soon as my wife gets off of work and gets home, or when I get, my wife gets home from work, that could be from 4 to 6 o'clock, depending on what time she gets off. And then I have till 8 o'clock, which is where we start rocking Colton. And we put him to bed at 9.30. After 9.30, me and my wife do whatever the hell we 
we wanted for a few for like an, until she goes to bed at eleven, and then from eleven o'clock till about three or four, I'm editing. Unless it's a really short edit, then I'm editing for only a few minutes. But I could be recording, I could be editing from two to three hours to fifteen to forty-five minutes, depending on the video. If I have to cut a lot of stuff out, and it's like over a two-hour video, I have to cut a lot out. It takes me about three to four hours. <laughs> just to get the decent quality that you guys are getting now. Now that I'm using audio audio software with all the waveforms I'm looking at right now, which is why the computer monitor's on so I can make sure it's still recording, I've got my microphone sitting over here. Again, I keep forgetting to take fucking pictures, but it's a mess. I don't have to clean it up, and I keep forgetting. Eventually, you guys are going to get photos. I keep saying that. Just, I'm not. I'm going to take photos here in a little bit before I do anything else. But it's just it's just overwhelming, a lot of the shit that's happening right now. And it's my own fucking fault. It really is. My own goddamn fault. I can't blame nobody but my fucking self. If I didn't have acid reflux so fucking bad, I would never lost my damn job because I never called in. I would have never overpointed and I would have never lost my job. But blame it on my fucking body. <sighs> okay, so. <sighs> Apologize for talking a lot of y'all's ears off. I'm just so freaking annoyed. I'm not really pissed, it's just that I'm mainly disappointed. I'm not really mad, I'm just disappointed. Disappointing in a lot of my so-called IE friends who say they watch my videos, and yet I only get a random thumbs up every now and then. It's no big deal. I don't live for the thumbs up. I live to put, put decent, decent, I say decent right now because that's all I can do make is decent because I have shit equipment. And it's because I have no job. I have no money. So I can't buy better equipment to make better videos. If I had these, had some money to be able to have an actual computer, to have actual processing speed, I can actually edit stuff better and I can do better videos. You see where it all goes down to? I hate money with a passion. I hate people. But I need the both of them to make a career out of YouTube. And the only reason, the only way I can switch my my affiliation, I guess you could say, or my loyalties, whatever you want to fucking call it, to humans, is by proving me wrong. Here's the thing about this guy, the post I showed you guys. He's a great guy. He can make you laugh no matter what mood you're in. He's the one of the best guys on the fucking planet. He makes a lot of bad mistakes because that's what he thinks people would rather him. That's what he thinks people want him to, want to see him do. So that's what he shows people. It's wrong. It's the stupidest thing to do in the world, but he does it, and it's really fucking sad because he's a great father. He's a great friend. He's like I said, I've known him for over twenty years. I know him very well. I know him better than he think he knows himself lately. And it's crap to see him put on this fake fucking mask all the fucking time to... <sighs> I see it in a lot of people that I love. A lot of people that I know. They put on these fucking... I've, I did an entire vlog about fake masks before. That everyone puts on this fake mask of showing people what they think they want to see. And it's not what people want. They want to see you. Anyone, who want, anyone out there who are having problems with other people, people just want you to be yourself. I, I'm i just trying to be myself. I might do a weird accent every, every now and then. That's just mainly because that's just how I fucking am. I don't mean to do that. I really don't mean to do that. It's just how it happens. You can ask my wife. Sometimes I'll be bitching and moaning about something and I'll slip into a fucking Irish accent or some shit and it's, I don't even mean to do it. It's just a mental subconscious thing that I do. I don't know why. It could be a weird mental tick. It could be OCD. I don't fucking know. But... <sighs> I've got a lot of problems myself. I'm not 100% a goody two-shoes. I've got my skeletons in my closet. I've got my crosses to bear. But at the same time, I'm not going to freaking put it out there for you guys to see. I'm not going to put it out there for you guys to deal with. If you guys want to know my problems, that's what the comment section is for. If you guys want me to talk about my weird problems, put them in the comments down below. Hey, maybe we have some of the same problems. Wonder if Blitz version 1 has ever ran around naked in a field. Fuck if I know. Just 
I now know what you guys want to see. I don't know what you guys want to hear. I don't know what you guys want to do. Unless you tell me. I've had a handful, just a couple, two to three, four people, maybe five, tell me what I'm doing wrong. One guy told me about the audio, about the fucking air conditioner home. I guys, I told you guys about that. Told you guys that I don't hear that when I'm rec- when I'm editing. So since I didn't know that was there, I didn't know that was bugging you guys. Even when I go back and watch some of my own videos, or when I try to, if my internet lets me, I still don't hear it. I don't hear it myself because I hear it every fucking day and every fucking night. I hear this thing going. So obviously, I didn't hear it in the background. So I didn't know. Thank you a lot for whatever your name was that sent me that on a comment on a video on one of my Doki Doki Literature Club videos. Thank you for letting me know. Truly, from the bottom of my heart, I take criticism very fucking well. I'm not going to block people for criticism. If it's actual constructive criticism, I don't mind. And I think my thing's telling me my bat, my, my deal's running low, so I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. So... If you guys learned anything from this video, awesome. If not, I apologize for rambling, but I just had to get some of this off my chest. So all that being said, you guys, thank you all so much for watching. And again, be yourselves, be good, and try and breed positivity. See you guys in the next video, and peace.